Whale sharks dive down to deep waters only once a day. I can't wait to find out what it does down there. <laughs> He's going down, Captain. Then so are we. Shellington, what are those things? They're krill, Peso. That must be what the whale shark comes down here for. The krill? Yes, they're tiny little shrimp that the whale shark eats. Let's take a closer look. Aye, we'll have to. They're mighty small. We'll use the octogoggles, Quasi. They'll make those tiny krill look big. Activate octogoggles. Slappity flippers. Hmm, fascinating. Wow, amazing. Hey, there's something glowing over there. What is that? Flappity flippers! A giant shark! Hmm? Are you talking to me? Wait a minute. My octo goggles. Hey, you're not a gigantic shark. You're tiny. Yeah, I, I get that a lot. But even though I am small and I glow, I'm uh, still a shark, okay? Uh, Oh. Oh. What's wrong? This thing is stuck to my back and I can't get it off. It makes it hard to uh, swim. Don't worry. You've just got a sticky shell stuck to your back. I can help you. I'm a medic. I help any sea creature who's hurt or sick, no matter what. Heads up, Peso. Whale shark coming through. Little shark, where are you? I've got to help him, but first I've got to find him. Captain Barnacles, I just met a tiny little shark and he had a shell on his back and... Whoa, 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 whoa. slow down there, matey. What did you see, Peso? A shark, a teeny tiny glowing shark. He was hurt and he needed help, but the waves from the big whale shark knocked him way down deep and I don't know where he is. Well then, we'd better find him. Let's sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to your stations. Octonauts, there's a shark out there who needs our help. Peso, what did the shark look like? Well, he's tiny, about as big as my flipper. I've never heard of a shark that small. Well, sharks do come in all different sizes. Indeed, there are huge whale sharks like the one you follow today, and also much smaller sharks. Yeah. Hmm. But none of my old books mention a shark as small as the one you saw, Peso. See? Your eyes must have been playing tricks on you. I know what I saw. It was a teeny tiny little shark. And if it was swept downwards, we'll have to look for him in deeper, darker waters. Come on, we've got a tiny shark to find. Barnacles out. Yeah. How are we supposed to find anything down here in the dark? Peso said the little shark glows, so let's shut off our lights so we can see if anything's glowing out there. Shiver me whiskers! He looks like outer space. Each of those lights is a different sea creature. One of them must be the little shark. If he was swept down this way, he probably didn't get far. We'll have to split up. But be careful, it's so dark down here that it's easy to get lost. Deep sea suits on, everyone. Aye, 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 aye Captain. Uh, excuse me, are you... Oh, you're not a tiny shark at all. You're an anglerfish. <laughs> you got that right, pal? Ah, these are no sharks, that's for sure. Huh? Mm, just 
a glowing jellyfish. Oh, that one's really bright. Nope, hatchet fish. Where are you, little shark? Where am I? Peso to Captain Barnacles. I seem to have got separated from the group. Where are you? Can anybody hear me? Oh no, my radio isn't working. I must be too far away from the others. Oh, is that the lantern shark? No, it's much bigger and brighter and it's coming right at me. Yikes! Ahoy, Peso. Quasi. Why are you swimming upside down? I'm not upside down. You're upside down. You got that wrong, pal. Huh? <sighs> Come on, Peso. We need to go find the other octonauts. But we haven't found the tiny shark yet. Peso, I've chased after lots of strange creatures, and the truth is, sometimes you find them, and sometimes you don't. But this one needs our help. Well, if we don't find Captain Barnacles and the others, we're going to need help too. Righto. Let's stick together. I'll look for the shark while you look for the octonauts. Shellington, have you seen Peso or Quasi? No, just lots of glowing fish and no little shark either. Peso, Quasi, come in. Their radios must not be working. I hope they're not lost. We'd better... Oh. What is that? Wait for me, Captain! <gasps> A tiny shark! Oh, thank goodness you saw my flashy. I'm glad it helped you find me. We lantern sharks use our lights to find each other. Fascinating! Well, I've never seen a shark as small as you. <laughs> Everybody says that. Oh, this shell on my back is really bogging me. We can help with that. Well, not me, but our medic. He's called Peso. Peso? He's my pal. Where is he? Well, uh, I'm afraid he's out there. Somewhere. We've got to find him. I can see pretty well in the dark, so I can help look for him. Oh, it's getting hard for me to swim with this shell. Don't worry. I can carry you. Okay. See anything? <sighs> Look. Something's flashing. Hello. Over here. This way, matey. <sighs> they can't see us. If only we had a flashing light. That's it. We do. Huh? Now that's what I call a bright idea. Oh, I hope they see us. Hmm? Hi, it's working. Peso, Quasi, is that you? You found us. Hola, Peso. And you found the little shark. Well, shiver me whiskers. It is a tiny shark. Let's get you fixed up. What kind of tiny creature are you anyway, matey? I am a dwarf lantern shark, and I know I'm little, but I am still a shark. <laughs> oh. There. Good as new. Ah, thanks, Peso. I sure am glad we found each other. How about a picture? Take good care of yourself. It's a big ocean out there. Will do. Bye. Nice to meet you. Bye. Bye, me Bye. It's called a dwarf lantern shark. Of course. It wasn't in any of my old books because you're one of the first explorers to find one. This is the smallest shark in the world. A dwarf wow. lantern shark. Well, it just goes to show you, sharks come in all different shapes and sizes. Just like octonauts do. <laughs> <laughs> all right, 
Cap, your Octo Compass is ready to go. Oh, thanks for fixing it, Tweak. I don't feel like a captain without it. You better give it a quick check. I'll show you how it works, Vegemals. If I need to talk to someone, I just touch the screen. Look. Hello? And if I'm away from the octopod and I need to sound the octo alert, I can use this to do that too. Uh, don't worry, that was just a test. I can even take a picture with it. Looks like it's working perfectly, Tweak. All right, Cap. See you later. Would you like to hold it, Tunip? Be very careful with it and give it back to me as soon as you've each had a turn. <laughs> Octonauts? Huh? Octonauts, who sounded the octo alert? Um, Shellington, do you know what he's saying? Yes, Captain. He says that your octo compass flew out of the octo hatch and they don't know where it is. I think. And they're really sorry. Don't worry, Vegemals. We'll find it. Dashi, activate the Octo Compass Finder. I'm on it, Captain. There it is. <laughs> it's floating into the cove. Look. It stopped moving. All we have to do now is go into the cove here and get it. Easy. Super, super. Or maybe not so easy, Captain. This cove is known to pirates everywhere as Creepy Cove. Creepy Cove? What's so creepy about it? It's the home of a creepy monster with creepy powers. And what might those powers be, Quasi? The monster of Creepy Cove can change colours like magic. It can make itself grow as big as three whales. And finally, it can make perfect copies of itself <laughs> until you're surrounded by monsters. I've always wanted to explore Creepy Cove and see that monster in action for myself, matey. <laughs> I'm not sure there's really a monster living in this cove. Creepy Cove, Captain. But we do need to get my Octo Compass back. So, Quasi, Peso, into the gup. We're heading for... Creepy Cove? Um, yes. Tweak, open the octo hatch. Right away, Cap. According to the map, the octo compass should be somewhere near the entrance to the cove. So we won't have to go very far inside Creepy Cove to find it. Unless the monster of Creepy Cove finds it before we do and takes it for himself. Here we go. The entrance to the cove. The octo compass is small, so we'll have to look very carefully. Peso, you take that side of the rocks, and I'll take the other side. And Quasi... Quasi? <sighs> Come on, Peso. Activate helmets. No monster yet, Captain. But you never know. He could appear at any moment. Don't worry, Peso. We'll find the Octo Compass in no time. Let's search these rocks first. Huh? <gasps> what was that? Look, the Octo Compass is moving. 
Dashie to Captain Barnacles. Barnacles here. Go ahead, Dashie. Um, Captain, have you found the Octo Compass? Uh, no, not yet. Well, somehow it's on the move again, deeper inside the cove. Tell me which way to go and we'll catch up with it. OK, Captain. Go left. Go through the rock archway and to your right. Captain, what are we chasing? The Octo Compass. It's moving again. The monster of Creepy Cove must have grabbed it. All right, Dashy. Now which way do we go? The Octo Compass has stopped moving, Captain. It has to be somewhere very close by. Understood, Dashy. Barnacle's out. Yeah. That scurvy monster is hiding in this kelp with your Octo Compass. Well, I don't know if a monster took it, but one thing's for sure. My Octo Compass is somewhere in this kelp, and we've got to find it. I'll search this way. I'll search that way. And I'll take the middle. <gasps> that rock, was it there before? Rocks can't move all by themselves. That's silly. Hey! Hey! Okay, now that rock looks just like an ordinary rock, and ordinary rocks don't sneak around. And so, to prove to myself that there's nothing to be afraid of, I'll just sit right down on this ordinary old rock and. Ah! Flappity flippers! What is it, me hearty? Stop that rock! Huh? <gasps> oh, that's no rock! It's the monster of Creepy Cove! And it has the captain's octo compass! <gasps> Quasi? Peso? What happened? We saw the monster. First, it looked like a rock. And then it made itself huge. And then it turned green and disappeared. Aye, and it's got your Octo Compass. Dashie to Captain Barnacles. The Octo Compass is moving into a small cave on the other side of the kelp. Thanks, Dashie. Octonauts, let's get to that cave. Ready. Yow! Ah, I reckon the monster wants to trap us inside this cave, Captain. Hmm. Well, I don't see any monsters, but I do see my Octo Compass. The m monster! Shiver me whiskers! Another monster! That's different! Yeah. What? The real one! Gotcha! Don't worry, we won't hurt you. So you're the monster of Creepy Cove? No, I'm not a monster, I'm just a cuttlefish. A cuttlefish? Then how do you explain the fact that you changed your size and your shape and your colour? Mm, that's what we cuttlefish do, to protect ourselves so other animals can't hurt us. I can make myself disappear. Mm. Whoa! See, I look just like a rock. Or I can make myself look bigger! Amazing! Or I can shoot out ink and make it look like you're seeing another cuttlefish while I swim away! That's incredible! Hi, matey! We didn't mean to frighten you, Mr. Cuttlefish. We've only been chasing you because you have something that belongs to me. You mean this? Yes! That's my Octo Compass. Here, please take it. I was just playing with it. I like how it changes its look. Just like me. <laughs> You're right. And it also turns into a camera. May I take your picture? Well, okay. How about a group shot? Yeah, all right. <laughs> Say cheese. As you can see, the monster of Creepy Cove was just a cuttlefish. <laughs> Tunip, don't even think about it. <laughs> <laughs>